Let's find f of g of x. Since g of x is really equal to x to the 1 half, this can be written as f of x to the 1 half. Now to find f of x to the 1 half, we go to the formula for f, and we replace each x with x to the 1 half. So we get 2 times x to the 1 half to the 4th. And then instead of having plus x squared, we replace this x with x to the 1 half. So we have plus x to the 1 half squared, then plus this 1. Now we can simplify each of these pieces. So let's assume that x is a positive number. So we get 2, 1 half times 4 is equal to 2. So we get x squared. 1 half times 2 is equal to 1, so we get x. And then we have our plus 1. So that means that f of g of x is equal to 2x squared plus x plus 1. Now let's find the domain of this composite function. To find the domain, we first need to look at the domain of the input function. The input function is x to the 1 half, which can also be written as the square root of x. The domain of the square root of x, we, since we cannot take the square root of any negative number, the domain of this is x is greater than or equal to 0. Now we need to look at the composite function. The composite function is 2x squared plus x plus 1. Now we can plug any number into x and square it. Okay, so the domain of x squared is all real numbers. The domain of x is all real numbers as well. So the domain of 2x squared plus x plus 1 is all real numbers. So that means we can take any real number, square it, then multiply it by 2, then add it, then add 1 to it. So the domain of this is all real numbers. So now for the domain of f of g of x, we take the values of x that are both in the composite and allowed for the input domain. Okay, so x is greater than or equal to 0 is all that's allowed for the input. All real numbers are allowed for the composite. So the numbers that work for both are x is greater than or equal to 0. So the domain of f of g of x is just x is greater than or equal to 0.